Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. The Earthguard is coming and there is no one to stop them. Other than probably us. But uh, it's not gonna be easy. We don't have the army, we don't have anything. First How are we gonna bandits, do it? Now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Mm. In hobnail boots, tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret this. I oh. swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Mm. Well, we're certainly sure of ourselves. And I, I've seen another chest. Uh, we're definitely gonna pick that up. Not sure how we get there though. So it's here. Yeah, it's, it's over there. Yeah, the pathfinding is not gonna find it. Uh, that is for certain. Uh, we can't go there because there is a fence there. And you know, you, you can never climb fences. So, that's completely out of the question. <clears throat> Lord Clayton's estate. Oh, well. I suppose it's still his. It's not... It might need a little bit of re renovating, renovating uh, at this point. Oh, th those Suddenly, are Nilfgaardians. Neve's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. To the Queen's surprise, the invaders did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilfgaardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride and the scent of musk. I am Traern Vardifir, Your Majesty. I was asked to present to your esteemed grace the ultimatum of the forces of the Empire of Nilfgaard. Carry on. Uh, uh, your name? I'll just call you Mr. X. How about that? The envoy cracked the seal on a scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath, and began to read. I, General Ardal Epdahi, Demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village, and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. Say no more. That seems pretty reasonable. You know? As the final threat echoed in Meave's ears, the envoy put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer, a mocking smile on his face. He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. Well, <clears throat> I'm not killing you because you brought me a message. I'm killing you for your attitudes. You know? Give your answer to the ultimatum? I just killed them. Maybe they're just gonna be wondering, Hmm, what happened to those guys? Maybe they are still deciding. I just killed His them. His Excellency speaks true. We Nordlings are barbarians, without exception. Answered the Queen. Though her voice was calm, most of those listening shuddered inside. We neither hold nor honor the standards of the civilized world. Among them, the immunity of envoys. At the... <clears throat> okay, we need to kill the guy. Barbers, to attack an emissary. Well, you should stop binding. So, every turn and turn start, set this unit's armor to the combined power of the Royal Nilfgaardian Escort, and he has three of those. We need to kill him. And I need to use my leader's ability to do it. Alright. Wagenberg. Could be powerful, but also if he dies, it's so bad. I guess we're getting the Rivian Pikeman out. 
Some drum left, right, left, right. Um, ours is not to reason why. Okay. So that's decent damage. Still need to play something else. Regiment drummer. Let's send him back. Uh, I want more archers. Let's put down the drummer. Again and again and again. Um, we are not shooting. We're getting out an archer. I'm not hitting the guy with it. Laria! My lady, your majesty, you must stop this! Hmm. So this could do... 8 damage. And that should be enough. Oh, we need to play something. Company! Forward march! Doesn't matter. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. Should do it. One bolt all I need. Yep. <clears throat> Maybe there's a the envoy's way to escort do this. crumbled beneath the onslaught of Meave's Lyrians, who grabbed the emissary and brought him before their queen. Robes torn and head blooded, he no longer exuded imperial pride. Your Grace, what would you have us do with this pompous ass? We kill him! Order Reynard to kill the envoy. Command your men to clap the envoy in irons. Do we really wanna. Let's. What's the point of that? Ultimately, he's just an envoy. Should we kill him? I think that would be good for the morale. I just kill him. I don't know. Just seems such a waste. I would rather let him go or kill him. But now we're gonna. What are we gonna do with him? I suppose we can send him back. If we ever need to send back somebody, why well, he's gotta be him. I want him shackled in iron collar and manacles. To the capital we shall take him. And in the castle dungeon, he shall taste of northern hospitality. The envoy's jaw opened, but no sound, no protest came forth. The queen's irate stare drilling into him, he simply swallowed audibly. Trehern var fatifir, usually silver-tongued, remained utterly silent the rest of the way to the capital. Okay. Not sure how he stayed silent. Because we're not even... Wait, what? How... How did we go there? Hmm. This is so annoying. Screw you, game. What am I supposed to do? Like, learn flying? We had the chest there that we couldn't do anything with. Well, probably we're gonna have one way to get there. But this one? How am I supposed to get it? There's no way. Are you supposed to, like, climb down from the castle? I don't know. I don't think you can do that. Yeah, a fast travel point. And a few points of interest. Oi, peasants! I'm just stealing your wood. My lady, the toilets for... What? No, no, no. <clears throat> the toilers, formerly under Lord Clayton's service, wish to join your army. 
In a few hours I can uh, teach them which end of uh, the spade to point at the enemy. It's simply a matter of coin. Yeah, we need the coin. No! Okay. Interesting. It just shows what to do in the area. We can actually go there. Not a huge fan of this. Not sure why they decided to have it. Probably just something to do. And I suppose you can uh, ignore it without uh, suffering uh, too much of a setback. Oh, that increases the morale. First one I found, although I did get the tip some time ago uh yeah just, just have more and more gold but we have nothing to spend it on and yeah, these are just letters we are finding uh that's my deck yeah most of the things are just locked away There's nothing to do. I suppose we need to fight with the Nilf Guardians. And pick up this fancy chest. Well, this is uh, most certainly gonna be a fight. Maybe we can uh, sell back the dude. What's up, guys? Why so mad? It's Thunder Battle. Wow. That's a thing. Seems okay. Ah, uh, definitely we need to get rid of those. But other than that, seems okay. Yeah, Reynard. He's pretty bad. Not sure. I guess we're gonna keep this. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Fifteen points. It hurts us. They ran the minute from the hundred and fifty-two, hundred and fifty-four. Number of your allied units. Oh, that's interesting. But we may want to focus on uh, killing him. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Let's get out some peasants. Yeah. Summon a copy of that unit. If I can't kill it. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Okay, that's a lot of points. Scrubbing duty again? Oh, gods. Mm, do we want to get at the Rivian Pikeman? I think that would be a good idea. For Rivia! Alright. So, now I have a pretty strong Arbalest. self by six and gain resilience wait what resilience I don't think so <gasps> wait what yes what did I miss my turn did I click order not sure what happened. But I thought it was my... Never mind that. So we need to kill the recruit. Fuck. 
He has resilience, so we need to win, for sure. Should I just get rid of the Dectoners? What is this? Yeah, I'm not too concerned about the Magnet Division, but I can't kill that. Actually, I can almost kill it. This is resilient as well. Damn. But for how long? Is it like one round? I really hope it's one round. Give me a target. Okay. Passed. So we won. Ah, uh, let's pass. Uh, those are nice. Hmm. We're not gonna do the mulligans right now. What I'm gonna do is put down a war wagon. Anymore. I think this is the most expendable. Other than probably decoy. New no, orders? No. Ah. Yeah, we're just gonna pass. We're gonna draw three cards. He might just pass himself. I don't want him to gain resilience. That's just not cool. Just thinking hard about this. This is just like playing online. Oh, that's gonna be too nice. Oh, crap. That's not good. But I'm actually pretty good in long round, so... I'm not overly concerned. Also, those are not extremely strong. This shouldn't matter much. We're probably gonna end up playing everything. Yeah, these get two out from the deck. I have three in the deck. Not well, decoy can help with that. But can I get all of them out? They're all blitz. I think this should be okay. Fine. If that has armor, boost adjacent. Bit annoying. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. That's annoying. We, we probably have to deal with that. I can only one shot the armor it has if I fill up an entire row, which is gonna take me uh, a while. Oh, no yes, two. Crap. Yeah, we need to establish these guys. Who's the lowest ally? The power of the highest ally. Okay. So with this I can do free. Wow, this is actually pretty damn strong. Huh. We need to get rid of the armor of these enforcers. Again and again and again. Let's go with that for now. 
But I might just go with double Arbalest. And take out one of these. Holy crap! Too much. Like, really too much. Okay. We might get uh, Count Cold, though. In that case, I would like to have an uh, Arbalest on the board. Let's do that. Uh, I think we should play those in the back, maybe. Now, this enables me to play two archers in the front. That's still okay. Not great, but it's okay. Do it. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. You can also move the Lyrian banner there, but no, I, I want the archers to be strong. Wow! Tough fight! Mr. New of Guardian Man. What now? Hey, Hertha. Why is the bot roping me? Life is mine now. Oh, that's not good. So, uh, we're gonna play the archer. I'm a one say. Let's go with that. And boost the biggest dude we have. Yes. Actually... Yeah, whatever. Wow, he's just getting so strong. I still need to hit the armor, I believe. Whenever an ally appears. Crazy. You can also decoy one of the Arbalests. Oh, great. In Returning something. Oh yeah, act actually I can start moving the light infantries in the back, just to make space. Laria! That should be fine. <laughs> I can play the regiment drummer in the back. I can replay this drummer. But actually, time is... I don't know. Number of allied units. That's that's just strong. Wow. Yes. Must be an important lesson in this. But what? Oh, crap. How does that work? It literally... Oh, order. Never mind that. But that was well done on his part. I messed up. That was really uh, well done by the bots. Decoy. Okay, we can play a drummer in the back. Army's a waste of time for one like Who's me. Who's this guy? That's it for now. We have a power play with uh, Lyria Merlot. 
as long as he doesn't have some crazy way to Off kill to the one front big guy. Yet again. Even Merlot is actually just awesome. Oh, he killed the guy in the back. That's insane. Give one charge. Oh, we can do that. Seven. Can make some room. Give one charge. Please. Company! Forward march! Get out something. Yeah. We can get that out. In the back. Left, right, left, right. And, uh. I'm gonna get at two guys, right? Well, Count Coldwell can get out the uh, Lyrian Arbalest as well. I might just wanna replay uh, a Lyrian Arbalest. That's pretty good. I don't know. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, end turn. Sure. Oh boy! What a fight! I really hope we're gonna win this. Actually, replaying that Arbalest and getting rid of his armor. Yeah, armor that's, not good. that's not worth it at this point. Um, let's just draw something and see what we get. First. That's good. Time I taught you some respect. One bolt's all I need. So that's eight damage. It's pretty okay. Actually nine damage. And we can use her. That's even better. And now I, I'm completely out of my deck. We should decoy one of these guys. Because that seems like the most value. Okay. His last card. Think about it, mister. But it's gonna pass. And we are on our way to victory. But why is he roping me? Bot, what the fuck? You have one card. Damn. Is, is roping part of the skills? Give me a target. Ah, uh, where are we hitting? Like this? We can hit that for full. Oh, he be hitting that. Let's enter. I kind of want to see it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good card to have in the deck. Let's pass. Alright. No bad. No bad. Sure. Sure thing. Rip in peace, no guardians. Take their stuff. <clears throat> From Duke. Uh, whatever. Grand Chansey. A commander of uh, army... Uh, group East. The Colonel... Whatever. Your priority is the capture of Dravagrad, seizing the city in this war's first days grants additional clout behind our allies in their negotiations with the Lyrian nobility. You needn't lose peace of mind over Queen Maeve. According to our reports, uh, she's just 
across the border with an insignificant military force, she poses you no threat. Well, they are actually pretty damn right. <laughs> insignificant, they call it. And they are pretty much right about that. But I can still kill some bandits. Okay. This is just uh, the, the park that just comes with the house. Pretty good. Uh, we can't go in. Oh! This is how we get the chests. Here we go. It's gonna be a grand border. I'm taking this chest and burying it back. Stray's bomber? I don't care! Jesus Christ! Hmm... I don't know. I don't really like this part. And I say this as someone who actually plays Gwent, but what about those who actually don't play Gwent? And they just want to play RPGs. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels so disappointing because you're getting nothing of value for this game. Like, what if I found an Overwatch skin in that chest? And I don't play Overwatch. Like, that seemed like a gold chest. I went out of my way to get the gold chest. And now I got an Overwatch skin for it. Of course, some people would say like, Overwatch skin, that's pretty damn cool. But, I don't know. Doesn't seem like an appropriate reward. Hmm. Oh, come on. Can we pass it up? Now we just gotta go back. I need to get to the point where I can actually maybe fine-tune my army a little bit more. Because currently it's just uh, pretty simplistic. I'm, we're going on the hardest difficulty, but fights are pretty easy. Oh yeah, miss this. We can never know. Maybe it's a card. Can we miss up a chance? Uh, the chance to, to get a card? I don't think so. Because that, that one card we found, that uh, that drink, that's actually pretty damn good. Not like really we are struggling to, to win fights. So... I was like really go out of my way to mess it up. I think we're gonna be fine. Of course these puzzles could be... I don't know. Could take some time. Okay. Eliminate all goals. Use your leader ability. It says all goals, but I I, I imagine this also includes the all goal. Oh, we have Scorch. Every three turns on turn start, consume a unit in your graveyard. And he has a lot of peasants there. Ooh. Jason is by five. Oh, crap. So this is obviously a Scorch uh, challenge. And this is gonna go up to 23 pretty damn soon. Twenty and others are gonna go up to 21. The thing is, we can't damage it by well actually we can damage it by only two. We can. Screw that. We're good. 
Am I right? One bolt all I need. Oh, some... He's taking something here. Wait. How do you get... Ambusa by free? Oh, crap. So this is gonna go to 21. Oh no! I missed the boost stuff by three part. Now we're in trouble. I can't laser it. That would be too much. How do I get this to 23? Or actually 21? I can't. Can't be done. It's not that simple. But I need to kill everything, right? Hmm. Actually, this is gonna trigger earlier. How do we do this? So these are gonna go up to 21. Can I make this a 31? No, 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 for, well, yeah, 31. And keep in mind, this ups by 13, in order to make it a 31. Uh, we need to damage it by 7-ish? Puzzles are not about playing, they're about just sitting and figuring it out. Maybe just go from the start. Let's just go from the start and whatever. The timers are very relevant. So this is gonna go to a 26, these are gonna go to 21. At that point, it's it leads by 5 points. Uh, then it's gonna go to a 39, and these are gonna go to a 31. At no point I can actually use the Thunder, because that's just too much. Unless I somehow want to use it on the ones on the back? I'm not sure how would that work, that would also disalign them. Uh, there's actually one way we can consider. So we laser the one in the front, we wait. Ah, that's not gonna work. Actu no, this is not gonna work. Laria! One bolt all I need. Give me a target. You need to kill them all. Oh my god, puzzles! That's the worst part of the adventure games. An RPG game with puzzles. God damn it. Fuck, how do we do this? It, it needs to be a triple scorch, basically. This just overkills. And this is gonna run away, so this is the one we gotta slow down. But if I slow it down... Let's just say it becomes a... A... 16. If I laser it once, well, it drops to a 3, and then it becomes a 16. 
and these become a 21 and I can only do at most six damage with these so that's completely out of the question if I laser that's actually not gonna work I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do If I could only do 5 damage with this, uh, that would be better. If I could do 2 damage with the Lyrian Arbalist, this triggers too fast. It goes up to 26. Uh, then these guys go up to uh, 21. But 26, I can't do anything with that. Because I only got 1, 2, 6. Actually, I can do something with that. No. Oh, it's annoying because... Wait. It might work. Because I play my Lyrian... Yeah, I got a plan. It's an unusual one. So I hit it. Hit it again. Abolista, your command. I don't think... I don't think we have the time to execute it. It would work, but we don't have the time. Because I can zap my own guy, then ha ha I can do... Then I can do 2 damage. Wait. Actually, lasering that would make sense. No. It, it, it would be a 26. And still too big. So the timing is very particular. Once it gets to uh, 36, we lost it. So this is not that tricky, probably. Not that many uh, variables to consider. But I'm, I feel like I'm missing something here. So it becomes a 26 pretty soon. Maybe I'm too fixated on the one in the front, but that's what makes sense, right? One bolt all I need. Wait, what? Oh crap, we have that? Oh my god, no! Hmm. Oh, that's a game changer. Without the abilities, like, fuck, how do we solve it? But now we gotta... Gotta tank. So this is gonna go to... This, this goes to 21. And this goes to... 28. We Give definitely need to hit it. I can drop it down to a 9. Please make me have enough time. Abolista, your command. Oh my god. Maeve, why were you hiding behind that table? That board, whatever. I was like, fuck, how do we do solve this? Proclamation. Inhabitants of uh, conquered territories are henceforth informed that any attempt to impede the imperial war effort shall be met with punishment of the highest severity. Hmm. What? You already burned down their homes. That just doesn't even make sense. Now you got a ridiculous desperate people. 
but you want them to, uh, I don't know, farm for you? Get some supplies? They're gonna give you some supplies. They don't have a choice. This is just dumb. This is what armies, this is what territories do before armies invade. They actually burn down their own stuff because then uh, the enemies can't uh, resupply in their own land. What the hell? Golden chest? I need that. It's just kind of dumb. Oh, what? Some wood there? We're taking that. Oh, these are with then me. Then one day, gazing towards the horizon, the queen spotted Lyrian banners whipping about in the wind. At long last, she said with a smile. Meave resolved to speak with the commander, one Baronet Eldar. It was the first time they met, and the youth very much impressed her. Yet instead of questioning Eldar about the foe's troop movements, Reynard took the conversation down a seemingly irrelevant path. And how's your father, if I may ask? In good health, I hope. Yes, though he still nurses that bump he suffered while hunting last winter. Yet he's not one to complain. I'll tell him you asked. Irritated at the trivial nature of the conversation, Meave gave her horse a dose of her reins and cantered off. Once Eldar and his men were safely behind them, she took Reynard aside. Reynard, this is no time for gossip and pleasantries. We are at war. Oh, come on, Maeve, you're such a hard ass. Yes, Your Majesty. And in such times, little should be taken at face value. Even a man's name. Get to the point, Reynard. Eldar's father died a month past. His son, I venture, should have known as much. But that means... Oh, the bastard. Impeccable accent, though. I fear he's rather representative of what we face. No Guardian spies are ever well prepared. Tell me, how did you know? He wears no mourning on his armor. We're not for that. I dare say I might never have guessed. What are your orders, Your Grace? To observe these Nilfgaardian mummers? Kill them all! Send scouts after them? They are to be watched closely? No! We're not gonna let, leave them alone! Assemble a force. Tell them to follow our new allies. Observe them closely. As you wish, Your Grace. Reynard scouts did as ordered watching the false Lyrians while themselves remaining unseen. Soon after, a scout returned with news that the false Lyrians seemed headed for Rastberg, a castle several leagues to the north. Fake Lyrians. Unbelievable. House. Barn. Granary. Blackclads burnt it all down. Give me that. I hate to say this, Maeve, but uh, Doctor Who has more wits than you. Reynard, you should listen to him. Begged of me, lady. On hands and knees. They, they just laughed. Huh. That's not cool. Oh, finally. Check out this mini fort. Maybe we'll be able to get the the chest. That would be nice. What's up, lads? The false Lyrians approached Rasberg Castle. They sought to convince the defenders to open the gate. As their commanders negotiated with the commander on the ramparts, the remaining infiltrators crouched hidden behind a wall, awaiting the signal to rush forth. Time for Baronet Elder to join his falsely claimed father, muttered the Queen. Follow me! Mm. Yeah, 
This guy goes away for sure. I don't know. Eh. I guess. They found us! Say I got not to eat! What? Alba! This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Hmm. Yeah, we should probably take that guy out. Oh. Yeah. I should have mulliganed more. Do we wanna redo? This could be very risky with my current hand. Let's just do a quick redo. I should bully him more. And yeah, that's that's better. Uh, we definitely don't wanna hold on to the war wagon. Uh, that's fine. Don't care much for decoy. I think that's just fine. They found us! Say I got not to eat! What is he muttering? <laughs> No you need this mark. Come on. Mark the lowest enemy. After three turns on turn start, transform it into an Alpha Pikeman. Move it to your side. What? Wait, really? Well, There's is that gonna to happen reap. right away? A time to sow and a time to die. Ah! Uh, that works just as advertised, so... Count cold though. This seems okay. They found us! Say I got not to eat! After how many turns? Three turns. <laughs> Alba! So do we go with Rivian Pikeman? Or just uh, Regiment Drummers? Now we can just go with uh, some Pikemen. I'm back. coming, I'm coming. So he's gonna mark it. He likes that. Oh crap. I don't know. Kind of want to keep them alive. Ha! This could be a long, long fight. We need those weaklings. Then retreat. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Please don't kill my weaklings. Very good. Sure. So, Count Coldwell. A lesson in humility coming now. This office will be reaping black clad heads. Pretty damn strong. He's gonna mark the one, right? Right. Yeah. He didn't mark anything. It's a bit surprising. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Yep. Yeah. We're just generating plus five with every single dude. Every two turns. Hail Herzog. No. <laughs> S 
so... It is tempting to shoot at the uh, Forcer, but I think that would be a mistake. I'm a monster. And let's just boost. And we can stop this buff train next turn. That's probably a good idea. Also, these guys are fairly useful now, Review and Pikeman. I would have need to I would have needed to make a different deck. Yes. If not for these Vivian Pikemans. Pretty useful. I'm making note of it. the one power dude in the back and I guess we're going to be a drummer I don't know enemy will you do anything maybe this is getting too complicated for the bot We might get a regiment drummer. I don't know. Left, right, left, right. Just get strong. No one destroyed my Lyrium ba banner yet, so maybe maybe that's gonna be a thing in uh, one of these fights. But not yet. If you get uh, Reynard Odo, that's good. He has a lot of cards. Holy crap. How does he have so many cards? El Herzer. Okay. Regiment Drummer. We must trust each other. Again and again and again. Mm. One bolt's all I need. Okay. <laughs> Looks good. Decoy. Well, decoy could be okay. That's actually... Uh, not the best. Actually, if he decoy can't oh, hold, though, that's, that's pretty good. Here. And I can uh, place it in the front. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Weak. It will be Delirium Merlot. Uh, let's boost first. And this is kind of like my finisher. And I wish you good luck, uh, Sir Fake Lyrian Officer. <laughs> uh, you just do your thing. He's gonna think hard about this. It, actually, even he doesn't have a lot of space. So... What now? He's stealing my low-level dudes, but <laughs> he doesn't have space to take him. Okay. You take it? No, he can't. Wait, what? Why does he have a timer on it? I don't even know. I don't bother reading all these abilities. Usually, 
Doesn't matter much. Come on, enemy. I know you can do it. This is just like playing Vent Online. Off to the front yet again. CDPR is teaching. Oh, wow. Actually, he did me a favor. Teaching us to tolerate groping. We passed. Did the just, castle just is secure, strikes. your grace. Oh, look at that. We couldn't even fit all the cards we had. And you don't have the option to trash units uh, that's already on the board. Victory! <laughs> the Nilfgaardians found themselves in a clinch. As boiling oil and tar rained down on them from the walls, they attempted to retreat. Yet Meave's halberdiers cut off their path, and at the fight's end, Meave was victorious. The garrison commander now knelt by the body of the purported baronet Eldar, in truth, a Nilfgaardian spy. He shook his head in disbelief. He, he addressed me by name. Knew our watchwords. Why, if you hadn't come along, Your Grace, I fear even to think on it. Let this be a lesson, then. Trust no one, not a living soul. Yeah, but that's that's easy to say. Kind of a little hard to follow. Though victory was theirs, the Lyrians left Rasberg in mightily low spirits. They now knew well that Nilfgaard's spies were no less a threat than its heavy cavalry, than its war machines that spit fire. Yeah, taking the stuff. Hope you guys don't mind. How do I get the special gold chest? Milady, if I may. The enemy yet lurks. You must bolster your force. You must incorporate a detachment from my unit. Oh, four dudes? Oh, the times, the world, the day. Can't even tell friend from I just want to go there. Treachery round every corner. Oh, Maeve's on the case. He has it. Oh my god. She has it figured out. Oh my god. That's great. Lame. Very lame. I don't care. I was hoping for a card in this game. Okay, let's see. Huh. Pretty damn big. Wow, really? What the devil is going on? Where are our reinforcements? Why does Willem not ride out to face the foe, relieve besieged towns? I can't say, Your Grace. We haven't had a single scroll from the Prince. Gods be damned. I've the impression I'm alone in fighting the Black Clads. Well, plus your peasants. Come on. Give them some credit too. <clears throat> anyway guys, this is a good time to take a break. Thanks for watching and see you next time.